Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time doing a review on Dragon Ball Evolution. Now, what can I say about Dragon Ball Evolution? This is like, what would happen if you take something that is loved by fans and made something into nobody likes? Now, the premise of Dragon Ball Evolution is about Goku, who is like your typical everyday movie portrayed teenager. He's maybe this guy who tries to hit on the girls, lacks any of the original character source material, and some of the premise either feels different, and the character's development in for him just comes off as lacking any real trait. What's actually interesting as well is that the film borrows a lot of element from the original Dragon Ball and at the same time shows a little bit of Heavenly Employed to borrow some little bits of the Saiyan story that would have had that sequel. I feel like the casting comes off as unpredictable or at the same time, it time, time, the voice, I mean the casting just comes off as Terrible because Boma's voice um, actress tries to act Asian, but it kind of seems like she's gasping for air. Also, Master Roshi's actor tries to be Master Roshi, but knows the movie's gonna be bad, but tries his best. I feel the actor who played Piccolo tries to be Piccolo, but becomes this generic Martian Manhunter ripoff, and Kiki's character is just there as the potential love interest, but doesn't do much. I want to see her go on the road with Goku to help him, you know, find Master Roshi, find the other Dragon Balls, and go on that quest. You also have Yamcha, who is this typical, you know, like, surfer Asian dude. And there was one character I was expecting to pop up, was Quillen. Now, I admit the movie is terrible because the problem is... It's predictable because if there's an enemy for the characters to fight, they have they have unbelievable means when it's there. And I feel like the character Mai, who was introduced with Emperor Brilov, who is now meant to be Piccolo's henchwoman, is just a generic villain with no motivation and no real story with her. And the thing is, I feel like... The director, even the screenplay writer, didn't really look at Dragon Ball and thought, you know, let's do what we can with it. But it becomes this generic fan-like project that nobody asked for. And the film seems to borrow a lot of elements from Asian New York culture without, you know, going into any of the other Dragon Ball material. I feel like there could have been more explored with Dragon Ball Evolution had there been a better director and a better screenplay writer. Now, I do admit Justin Chatwin does try to be Goku, but his character just becomes this really unpredictable, girl-crazy teenager with no real motivations. And the movie is quite off-putting because, yeah, there are some believable moments, but there are some unbelievable moments that give the characters easy advantages. I feel like with Dragon Ball Evolution, it becomes this generic, terrible 2009 film that nobody asked for. Hell, I actually got this Blu-ray for 50p at a car boot sale, and you can actually tell the writer, I mean, the person who owned it, really showed their love for it, and really trashed it a little bit. So, yeah, there's no Krillin, there's no Oolon, there's no other characters. It just becomes this generic fan-like film that, yeah, the characters have to stop Piccolo from gaining conquest over the Dragon Balls, and at the same time, getting the Dragon Balls before the Eclipse. The movie becomes terrible, and I do agree with Watch of the 2000s now. The movie is terrible, and it should not be added into anyone's Dragon Ball collection. In my opinion, the movie deserves a thumbs down. Why? It's the most predictable, unbelievable 
terrible film that you've seen. This movie deserves to be a paperweight, in my opinion. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.